Hey there, I am uh, sitting in a food ply here and looking at these daisy flowers. And uh, they're all similar to daisies. Um, there is four different types that I've looked up today. Um, and I want to go through them to see what they are, if there is any food preference for deer, and how to control them if there isn't. So, looking at these flowers, um, we'll identify it. This is an oxide daisy. So, uh, they're all in the aster family, which is a sunflower family. And uh, we'll go through them right now. One uh, weed that looks like this is called the mayweed dog fennel. They're all in the same family. Uh, this is not mayweed dog fennel um, because of the leaves. Flowers are very similar, um, but the leaves on this oxide daisy are lobed, and uh, the mayweed is not. Mayweed has little to no cover or food value for wildlife. The next weed that looks like this is called the Old Field Aster, or Bushy Aster. Um, they're rarely a problem in annual plots. They do become prevalent. They do become prevalent in perennial forages. Um, they're moderate to high preference in forage for deer. And the difference is, this is oxide daisy, and they're lobed leaves. The uh, bushy aster or old field aster would be smooth. No lobes. And that would be one that you might want to keep. Another uh, weed that has flowers that are similar is called an annual fleabane, um, rough or daisy fleabane. And um, they do not usually outcompete planted crops. Um, and the species is uh, moderate to high preference for forage plants for deer. So again, the, uh, the leaves on it, it's much more bushier plant than these. Um, leaves are kind of similar to this daisy, uh, but they're, the stems are a little softer. But once they reach the uh, flowering stage, the fleabane is usually not, um, not desirable. So uh, one be one thing that maybe just mow it and you'd be good. All right, it brings us to this oxide daisy here that I believe I have like I can't, like I've said many times here it's got the lobe leaves it is flowering um, this oxide daisy is very low preference um, deer might eat it but uh, it can be controlled with herbicides uh, 2 4 DB in uh, clover plots um, mowing it will not necessarily control it so once it gets to this stage, um, I've mowed it today, and I will come back maybe in the uh, later in the fall to spray some 2,4-DB on it because I had chicory in the plot, and I want that chicory to last as long as I can. So, um, <laughs> very confusing a little bit when you're out here looking, and uh, I've been using a guide by... Dr. Craig Harper, a guide to wildlife food plots and early successional plants. You can get it off the QDMA website and very, very good reference. Keep it right in the tractor with me.